In Afghanistan, a Taliban spokesperson has denied claims that the group authorized an attack on a wedding that left at least two people dead and as many as 10 wounded. Reports from Nangarhar in eastern Afghanistan suggest armed men opened fire because they objected to the music being played. Jordan has warned it will begin to expel foreign workers who aren't fully vaccinated against COVID-19. The Interior Ministry said the expats had until mid-December to receive the two injections. There are tens of thousands of foreign passport holders from Egypt, the Philippines and elsewhere working in the country. Russian workers have begun a nine-day paid holiday as part of efforts to stem soaring coronavirus infections. The measures take effect as the government reveals its worst daily COVID figures of over 40,000 cases on Saturday. Russia has Europe's highest tally of COVID fatalities and nearly 450,000 deaths. Let's have a look on BBC Online this morning. The most read story on the BBC News website is the latest on the film set shooting involving Alec Baldwin, which we reported a couple of moments ago in the news summary. It reports that the actor's spoken out in public, as we said, for the first time since he accidentally shot dead the cinema cinematographer Helena Hutchings, saying that she was my friend. <laughs> 